We don't have any water, whether it is transboundary water that is of the white night flows without us controlling it. If it is our rain water and when it joins the transition the transboundary rivers it also flows without our control. So to me, I hope our experts will address themselves to issue of development, to issue of management, and to issue of controlling themselves for the Jungle Canal as experts because it's also good to listen to them. I happen to be a, uh, a proponent of uh, the Jungle Canal. I happen to think it serves the interests of South Sudan. I don't shy about discussing it openly uh, from the development aspects I don't shy about it uh, I hope uh, some of the experts will uh, discuss it because the area of Yongole as a state Yongole as a state is the largest state in South Sudan and at times, if you have walked through, uh, through it during the rainy season, you will find yourself in difficulties. Many areas get flooded, even the interior of it. And when it becomes dry season, if you have not carried enough water, you will die of thirst. So there are extremities in that state in terms of water, which is a problem that we must address. I do agree with uh, Commodore Makwe when he said, Sed is an Arabic word. Sed is a block, block, and sit, you block. But to us, it is touch. Also in dictionary storage has become acceptable. In geography it is also acceptable that you can call it the Toich wetlands. There's nothing in it but we have popularized 
the, the area in name of said wetland. So the set has become a hub, it has become a trademark. Always it is not easy to leave the trademark and then you move to another name. Advertise. This is how you are you have to present it. Uh, I I don't want to present my views on all these things uh, currently. Uh, uh, unfortunately, I'm told Professor Tait Al Khazim is not around. Uh, he he might come uh, at the, uh, during our presentations, but it would have been good. Reacted with the decision makers in the country in this forum. He has done the public consultation, which we thank him very much. Uh, he's a very uh, enthusiastic person on the issues of South Sudan. Uh, in 2006, he came, uh, we worked with him on the security sector. Uh, some of you, particularly the Minister of Interior, will uh, know that there is an institution called Community Security and Small Arms Control. This, this was a creation of such institution, the creation of such institution through the support of the Canadians and he led the Canadians that came here. We still have that institution uh, assisting the Ministry of Interior uh, to work on community security and also see how we can control the small arms. Uh, he, he might have told you about, about this. So Professor Tide, we hope he will join us some hours so that he can uh, give his views to the executive in this. So uh, I want us to listen to the experts. We listen to the experts uh, and then we debate with them as openly as possible. areas they have prepared, but if, if also they want to touch the areas such as Jungle Canal, that would be good uh, to listen from them, whatever they, they have about, because it's a project. There, there's one thing I would want to say. When we wrote the manifesto of the SPLM, one of the issues we mentioned was the Jongole Canal, the construction of the Jongole Canal. But our emphasis was on the fact that three million Egyptian peasants were going to be brought to do farming along the Jongole Canal. We had a political issue why we did that. Although many people knew three million people to be transplanted on uh, a place is not an easy task. But then it served the purpose for the struggle. It served the purpose for the struggle. And from my side, I would say, we want also to correct this. We want to correct this. We have no issues with the Egyptians. We, uh, some of us who, uh, whether from the engineering background or from the political background, have no issue with them. 
we know what they have presented to South Sudan. The help they have given to South Sudan. So we cannot stigmatize our people against them. And those of us who are alive would want to correct those. We don't we 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 should not make our decision based on the fact that we have something against the Egyptians. No. We must make our decisions on our national interest. This is this is important. So if if you refer to the SPLM manifesto chapter five, I want you we the authors of it, I'm one of them. One of them, Dr. Mariel is one of them. We did that to persecute a war and to make this country independent. This time is over. So our relations must be based on nation to nation relations. Any project we do, we do it putting our national interest into consideration. This is important. You know, this is important for people to know. And when we make our decisions, not on any uh, external factors, not also on any prejudices against any nation but our national interest. The, 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 any project we do is our national interest. This, this has to be clear. I would have wished also since we are the executive and we have I believe we, in absence of first Professor Taj al Khazim, we have our local experts. If we have doubts on some of the projects, because dredging, the machines came from Egypt. That's Egyptian money. We didn't buy them. We did not buy them. It's a grant from them. We have, in the Council of Ministers, have approved 28.3.2 million US dollars to per, for procurement of similar machines. But the ones that have arrived, Bentil, this is an Egyptian grant. An Egyptian money that they have offered to give to South Sudan, help South Sudan resolve some of their issues on water. The machines for dredging, the machines for clearing, and that. So it is people, the Egyptians, people's money. In 2007, they had also brought some equipment which during the war after 2013 were destroyed. That was also their money. And this transparency is important for, for us to know. I, I would have wished if we had also involved them I always say we have experts because if our, my age group, my generation is studied these issues that we are discussing, what about now? We must have people who have specialized, who have specialized even in narrow areas, even on the microbiology of the wetlands we, we now must have even on ants of the the wetlands 
So we it could have been good if we invited them. Let's debate. Let's debate. This is openness. So that tomorrow they don't blame us if we make a decision uh, that they may not like. Today in the Nile Basin we are the share of the Nile Basin. Led Manoa was the share or I let me say is the share of Nile Basin Council of Ministers is the share. Our president is also the share of the Nile Basin heads of the state and government. You know. And we have been working to ensure that some of the critical institutions in the Nile Basin be here established be located in South Sudan. Although we are not the source of the main Nile, the Bahre Jabal, we are not the source, but oh yes, I'm happy to announce that Professor uh, Tajel Khazim has arrived. Uh, we welcome him. So although we are not the, the source of the, the Nile, we are a, a big, we, we are big contributors to it. So we have a right even to claim some of the institutions running the Nile Basin uh, initiative should be here in South Sudan, located in South Sudan. Uh, in it. Uh, I hope after this debate in the council when it sits, we will also discuss the, the CFA in the Council of Ministers, which has been signed, I think about five countries have signed it, if, 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 if not six but we have not yet come to sign it. So as I said, let us listen to the experts uh, and then let's debate with them and particularly in the critical two areas of dredging of Bahar Gizal and the canal if there are people who have prepared themselves so that in the end from inform uh, and also contribution of our public, we make the decisions, the necessary decisions uh, uh, within this respect. But I want to emphasize, the question is not flooding. The question is development, management, and control of our water resources. This is the most important. It's a key resource. I believe some would have, might have, will tell you that the wetlands, not only in tourism, but also in other aspects such as carbon credit, it is the biggest. This is where we we could even construct the five dams from Fula to Shakoli, Lucky, Beden, and Lologo. We could, using the, the presence of the wetland, so nobody wants to drain the wetland. Since you know, by tourism, it brings you money. By its own presence, that it observes the carbon it also gets you money to construct the necessary infrastructure 
but you have to develop it. You have to control your water. You have to manage it. You know. So, in short, I would want to declare this session open. We give more time to the presenters. And as I said, the, the key presenters of the first presenter has come. Uh, if he's ready now, then we can give the floor to him. Thank you very much.